I'm Valentin Chmerkovsky. And I'm Jenna Johnson. And we're getting married. It's with joy that I now have the privilege of officially pronouncing you husband and wife. And you may kiss the bride. So the first time we met was- She loves telling the story. I love telling the story because, oh, it's just a good one. So the very first time we met, was season 18 of Dancing with the Stars, and I was the only person joining that season. So I was the only new person, and I will never forget that Wednesday. We had rehearsal early in the morning, and I walked in, and literally one of the first people I saw was this guy. Just floating. <laughs> floating. With a choir behind me. <laughs> and he came over and tried to introduce himself to me. And I just knew it was a wrap. I've kind of met this person that is the man of my dreams, and he makes me the happiest. And I'm so in love with him, and I don't know why or how or how on earth did we meet. He's from Ukraine, I'm from Utah. Like, in what world would we meet and get married? Only in America. <laughs> God bless America, you know? Russian kid from Ukraine marries a beautiful girl from Utah. The winners and champions of Dancing with the Stars athletes are Adam and Jenna. I had just finished a season of Dancing with the Stars athletes and I had won that season actually. So after, Val had planned a trip to Europe for us. We tried to go on a yearly big travel trip, um, just the two of us. I wasn't thinking of anything because I didn't think that he had talked to my dad, which he knew was very important. So we were in Venice, and he had convinced me that we were going to this really fancy dinner party. And I was super excited for it. We take the ferry over to San Marcos Square, and he had planned out this epic proposal. Basically, a whole camera crew was hiding as tourists, and they had captured this whole moment of leaving a rose on this table for me and we were slow dancing in the square because he had come up with some story that it was good luck. I um, mean, now that you like, you're like you telling it back and I'm listening, that was like epic, me being able to afford a ring from Jacob and Co. And, and they did such an incredible job. It was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful moment for me personally and then personally to be able to you know, gift it to her. So I wanted to get that out of my pocket, out of my possession. As, and now my as responsibility. As, yeah, I was like, I love you, here you go now, Years. take care. But you know, I didn't, I had nothing to do with the design. Val completely, again, planned ahead. He designed the whole thing himself and I wouldn't trade it, even if I designed it myself. One of the most important things for me and my wedding was my dress. I get to create and design dresses all the time on Dancing with the Stars, but I've never had something this meaningful. And I'm very particular, so I knew exactly what I wanted. So I have two dresses, and my first dress that I'm getting married in, I wanted to keep really classic and elegant and timeless. So I went with a very, not plain, but simple, nothing on it, gorgeous Vera Wang dress that is tight and fitted and it has a slight mermaid feel to it. It's also long sleeved. There's a long sleeve sheer bodysuit underneath it that's a high neck. I knew I wanted to have these beautiful headpieces with an awesome veil so I went to Bridal Styles Boutique and they custom made me these gorgeous crystal stoned headpieces that I have on either side and then I have um, my veil and it's plain all the way down and then at the very bottom there's this individual stoned little design on it that kind of just gives it a little like oomph to it. Um, and then my second dress, I wanted something that I could dance in and party in and be, you know, free to move in. And so I actually went to Kleinfeld and they helped me pick out a dream dress for me. Um, and it's a Tony War dress and it has these cute cap sleeves also with a high neck and it has these crazy beads all the way down. It is everything.
I have definitely taken lead on wedding planning. But it's crazy, I mean, I feel like you hear all these stories about, you know, it's been so stressful and this and that in particular, which, yeah, it has been for like big details, but most of it, I just, I feel like I should be more stressed out because it's been such a fun and enjoyable process. And maybe, I don't know, I feel like I'm not a bridezilla, maybe Val could beg to differ on that, but it's been a lot of fun. It's so funny to hear you lie about how stress-free this whole thing's been. You know that this is like very sh less stressful than most people. I, I could I, be I, Cruella I, DeVille and I'm just not. Just as long as it's really pretty and romantic and Val shows up and doesn't run away and my family's there, we're, we're good to go. We took a road trip together and Terranea was number one on our list and so we made a road trip out of it and we came down together and it was just the two of us and literally we stepped onto the property and we walked in the lobby and it's legitimately looking out onto the ocean and we kind of just looked at each other we're like this is it this yeah. is where we want to get married and um, it was perfect it's a, it's a perfect location also there is an epic spot to take a picture you get married and then you walk down and there's like this little cove of rocks right on the water and at sunset i literally have never seen a more beautiful picture for our menu, we're going to be serving um, a crab and avocado salad oh, I love so much. for our appetizer. And then for our entree, we're doing, there's a salmon and a braised pork option, which was divine, with some mashed potato um, and some vegetables. And then for dessert, there's like a trio sampler that we got to choose. Dessert's kind of our thing, and so we had a lot of fun eating that. Our cake was done by Vanilla Bake Shop, and they kind of custom it to all of my wants and wishes. There are gonna be tears to this cake. Very exciting. <laughs> That's yeah. about all he knows. <laughs> We're going to have a five-tier cake, and some of the layers are going to have rosettes, big like ruffled rosettes, um, piped everywhere, and then we're gonna have our initials on it, beautifully in cursive, J and V. Dude, I'm so excited for this wedding. <laughs> like, all these awesome things I didn't know were gonna happen. So many oh, surprises. Oh, man. My dad is going to be walking me down the aisle, and I just, I can't wait. He's gonna be running down that aisle. He's gonna be like, here. <laughs> But I'm, I'm really excited um, just to share that moment with my dad. I'm the last girl to get married in my family, and so this is kind of a big moment for both of us. I've looked forward to swearing my love and bond to you forever. I can't wait to be your wife. We are writing our own vows, and I'm very excited but also nervous because Val is Shakespeare over here, and so he's going to say his, and I'm really like, I love you, but we are doing our own vows. He's gonna crush it, I know it. One, two, three! We will be getting married at Catalina Point, and then our reception will be held at the Catalina Ballroom. We're going to have hanging um, flowers from the ceiling, we're gonna have drapes, we're gonna have gold accents everywhere. We're going to have a sit-down dinner with some toast. During those times when we would go to Dancing with the Stars, I'd walk by his trailer and just be like, oh man, I don't know if you could ever feel my piercing eyes. <laughs> and some speeches. We'll have a daddy-daughter dance and a mommy-son dance. And then we're gonna just dance the night away. Everyone expects us to do a choreographed dance. We're gonna have the British voice from Dancing with the Stars. No, dancing, their first dance. Yeah, no, we, that was kind of really big for me, I know. I just, I just want to slow dance with my husband for the first time, as husband and wife, and I can't imagine having to like think of choreography or like counts. So I think everyone expects this like big production of a dance, but we're just gonna slow dance like everyone else. This is a moment in our life, and in our life, not everything is choreographed, nor should it be choreographed. It should be a genuine moment uh, when we're dancing because we, we love each other and we're married finally and, and we get to enjoy this moment together. 
For me, this is my dream come true as I'm really proud and lucky and grateful uh, to be Jenna's husband. So I'm going to feel really happy when that happens. I think we both have been waiting for this day for a long time and anticipating finally being married and being husband and wife. So it's going to be a really fulfilling moment to finally be Mr. and Mrs. Schmerkowski. <laughs>